What's up, everybody? Your boy, Pat, back again with another edition of Second Take. Today's topic of the day is the Air Jordan 4s, and more specifically, the navy blue and white. This is a Heat Rocks production. Now, before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe, and hit the bell, as it helps out the channel. Now, this box is fire. I've been getting some really nice boxes lately from Nike. They've kind of went away from the straight orange or the straight beige or the straight black. This is fire. I like how one with the flight. You got the swoosh jumpman, or not the swoosh, you got the jumpman as the letter I. The ball, I guess, is for the dot, who knows, but flight. And you got that kind of splatted paint look, and it kind of is good because that's how the sneaker looks when you see it in a minute. So let's take a look at the box. On the front, you got nothing. On the right, you got nothing. You got some paper sticking out, obviously. On the back, you got nothing. And on the right, you have all the size and information. But these specifically, Air Jordan 4 Retros, white and midnight navies. These are fire. I can't wait to let, let you see these. So inside the box, they kind of go again with that kind of paint splatter right there on the paper. I really like when they get into the details and don't just give us plain white paper. We pay a lot for these shoes. We expect more. We like a nice presentation, a nice box, nice paper. I want everything to be nice, man. I'm not paying $20 for these sneakers. So inside the box, let's pull out the sneakers really quick. We'll pull the, put the box to the side and then we'll take a look at both sneakers like we always do and then we'll toss one to the side. So these here to me, I feel they came out at the wrong time. They're coming out right now in the winter. I feel like these are fresh and clean and ready for the spring. So you hold on to these, maybe rock them once or twice in the fall and then go hardcore when it comes down to the springtime. But let's get rid of one of the sneakers, throw them to the side and then we'll take a look at what's going on here with the sneaker. So, you got three different colors. You got a white, you got a navy, and then you got a gray. Now, one of the things they did with this gray is before it used to be a black paint splatter, this is actually a navy blue paint splatter. So it's really different from any other retros like this that have come out before. But the classic fours, man, these are so dope. On the outer sole, a lot of stuff going on here. The three colors we already talked about. You got this rubber piece. You got this part here for your laces. You can pick whichever hole you want. You got this kind of netting thing going on. Same thing here on the tongue with the netting. Then on the back, you got this, the jump man. This is just a, a rubber kind of piece here. But this here is like more like a rubber. This here is more like a leather. This is a rubber. This is obviously a sole, but it is a soft rubber. Got the air bubble going in these, the OG air bubble. Then on the insole, very similar to the outsole. No difference, you got the netting. Got all this stuff here, these holes for your laces, whichever which way you wanna lace your shoe. Then on the front, the toe box, just a clean white toe box. On the tongue, this is a nice clean tongue. I really like this because there's nothing going on here except for the Jumpman logo and then flight. So I like that and it's nice and soft, really plush, soft kind of tongue. Really like that. As I stated, you got the netting underneath these laces as well. I really liked how they stayed consistent there. On the inside of the tongue, you got Air Jordan. Obviously, it's upside down. That's the official way they do it. Also, on to the, to the um, actual shoe, you see the jump man there with your size and information. They went with a navy blue uh, cushion in there as well. And then on the bottom, the sole, they introduced this red. I wish they would have put just a tad more red somewhere in this shoe. Somewhere, I don't know where, but if they would have put more red on this, it would have been so dope. That's the only place that it's really red. Obviously, the, the Jumpman logo too, but it's probably predominantly white, blue, and gray, this sneaker. The sole is predominantly blue and gray. But there you have it, man. These sneakers are fire. Um, the actual laces, the, the uh, aglets are clear plastic. The eyelets are a combination. You got hole punches, and then you got these things in which you can actually put your laces in any which way of these holes you want. Are these sneakers not fire or not? These are straight fire, these sneakers. I give these a 10 out of 10. These are so fresh and so clean. These obviously are not for me. They're bigger than what I typically purchase, but this is for a present for someone for Christmas. So I think they're gonna really, really like these shoes. Shout out to everybody rocking me. Instagram, YouTube, the Anchor app. You can also find me on Spotify, as well as Apple and Google Podcasts. And now I'm on TikTok. It's your boy, Pat, 
Peace. Catch you in the next one.